Huge news is shaking up the CSGO scene, as Team MIBR have confirmed a trade of Jake, Stewie 2K, Yip over to Team Liquid. Bounced off the wall to cover top side of Banana. They leave just enough of a path for Stewie to get on top of the sandbags and get flashed in. Lovely lineup as he takes down three. Ball dropped as well, and he's not done there. Dupree's next in line. In exchange for Epitacio Taco Prado. Coming through the smoke now, I mean... Well, maybe if Neff goes far enough away, Grenade does go past a little bit. Taco now with the pistol. This is a great follow-up. Oh, my God. Four kills. That is just a USP, Jason, and he just makes it work anyway. Can we get a really early ace here in the grand final? That would be great, and Taco's going to be in charge of it. MIBR reported that they were looking to return to a Brazilian-only roster, which would put a few other current team members' futures in question as well. This epic trade would reunite Taka with three of his former Team Luminosity teammates. In other CSGO news, Virtus Pro Management has announced that their CSGO team will no longer be playing under the Virtus Pro name. This comes after the team's lackluster performance at the Europe Minor Qualifier, where they failed to qualify for the next ESL Pro League season. Virtus Pro two players just staring at each other, both with smokes in their hands. And BK down towards CT, sitting right behind the well. Patiently waiting for aggression to come through. Spots the players jumping by. Dust managed to find one here on Morel's RPK. He taps them down for the double. Now it's going to be all on Snatchy and now just Pasha. Dust managed to find one, but in a one on five situation, it's not going to be an easy task. A touchdown from. Lastly, Cloud9 has expressed their interest in having Corey Simphus Friesen be their next coach. Soam Valens Chowdhury is their current team coach, but that all might change in the very near future. TSM, they can feel it coming. They're actually starting to stack up towards the bomb fight with Semphis with the AWP. That's a new thing. Gets the kill. Dupree will return on one on Shroud there, but it's still looking good. Oh, Sipnix burns Sean Gaz alive, and it's back into a 3v3. Dupree going to win that fight, and the bomb is dropped on the slope. So this is looking good for TSM. Two on two, but it's two M4s versus two Orbs, and this is a new not yet standard setup here from Cloud9. They haven't got the bomb down. They've got a lot of time on the clock, but TSM just waiting in this pit, hoping that they're going to show themselves across the side there. Shazam, if he creeps a little bit closer, Dupree will be ready and waiting. And this is just a straight-off standoff across the side. Who will peek first? Shazam will. Dupree doesn't land the shot. They quickly push around. Sephis with the headshot. It's exactly what they needed in device all in his own, but he has the bomb covered off. Shazam just around the side. Pick clicks that one. Device is going to try to wait this one out. Shazam's going to peek. He should get him down. Pushes forward. Sephis replies. Close range. Orb. And picks up the round 6-5 now. Now that you're all caught up, what do you think about the recent developments in the CSGO scene? Be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know exactly how you feel. Thank you for watching and be sure to keep it locked to the game house for more CSGO coverage. Be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video. And for all things sports and esports news and analysis, keep it locked to the game house. From our house to yours.